Hi, Dean here with Green Elephant Studio, and I'm excited to announce that GreenElephantStudio.com is now the U.S. Uh, retailer for the JUA. If you're not familiar with the JUA, uh, you're probably not alone, but it is a very cool MIDI controller, uh, MPE ready, and um, it comes with different modules that you use on here. So uh, the Essentials Pack comes with this one, which is called the Scaler. Uh, very cool if you're looking to just set a scale and go or learn new scales and make music in that scale. Um, a great way to do that, get make, get to making music quickly. Sorry. There you go. So these modules will snap in. Well, not really snap, but they fit in. I think there is a bit of magneticism in here at, at work. Um, let's see here. And the Essentials Pack comes with that one. comes with also one that's like a... XY pad, uh, sliders, and also have the drum uh, or the pads one. And my favorite, and actually not really, my favorite and the one I use most is this. It's like a guitar, um, but you can customize it to how you want it tuned. For me, I want it on all fourths, like a bass guitar or the NS stick, which I play. Um, but when you get it, it is set at the guitar. But you do you can change all that um, uh, in the user interface, which, which I have up in the background here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize me and uh, put myself down here. All right. So on the left here, this is the editor. When you plug it in, and I'm going to plug this um, into there. So at the top, you just saw my Jue pop up and it knows exactly what's in here. I click on the pads, it brings it into the middle. And so you know this is the one you're working on. Um, and then the fretboard one, there you go. Um, so, you know, you, you select on the left here the ones you want to edit um, and create the uh, presets for, because each one you'll set you know they come already set but um you might want to customize it for example i want to customize my my uh, fretboard to be all fourths tuning and if um, that's what you want that's what i did here um, you're able to select the string i guess quote unquote string that you want to change and uh, uh, what the note range is for those so that's what i've done here um, you can also assign different things to these buttons. This is uh, always, uh, the plus and minus is always octaves, but uh, underneath here you might want to set this so that it's uh, this one just changing the bending on off or control chains, just all that kind of stuff. So that is there. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep this video short. That's basically what this does. Um, so like I said, it is MPE ready. Um, if, if you do have, uh, like I believe on, uh, what is it? I hear a Bitwig, there's a, um, this actually comes with the eight track version of Bitwig. Um, I can't remember what else it comes with, but it, you, you can find out. <laughs> so if you do have an instrument, uh, a virtual instrument that is, uh, uh, uses MPE, this will work with that. It will take advantage of the full advantage of MPE with your software instrument. If you're not familiar with it, look it up. It just gives you so much more um, expressiveness. And, uh, you know, there's other instruments like the, or MIDI controllers like the Linstrument, amazing one. And it's actually what kind of got me started on this journey and ended up here. Um, the Linstrument is pretty pricey. It's, a, it's an amazing controller. If you ever get a chance to play with one, give it a try. You're gonna fall in love with it. I did. Um, however, uh, it was just a little bit out of my price range. Um, and this one, much more affordable and it has, and it's just different. Um, uh, so I'll, I'm, now I'm able to just plug right into my computer, um, play the melody lines that I want to come, that might be in my head because I am now more familiar and more, um, understand the notes relationships and all that kind of stuff in the fourth tuning and uh, the keyboard like layout just doesn't work out for me uh, but if that works out for you they make a module for it in fact they're coming out with a, a full-length version of it this one's only takes up two of the, the three 
sections, but they're going to come out with a full version of it uh, very soon right now at the very end of November. Uh, so I heard it was in December they're coming out with it. Um, so anyway, that's the Jouet and the um, uh, editor. Now, if you don't have to have this plugged into a computer, you can plug it directly into a USB MIDI um, hardware instrument. I've seen a video of it used with the Novation Peak. Um, I uh, am going to do a series of videos using the Mod Duo. And so uh, please uh, stay tuned for those. Um, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can leave them in the comments section below or reach out to us at greenelephantstudio.com. I'll leave the links below for the product and also to our website. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, we're re I'm really excited to have this because it's a, it's a re really great uh, piece of gear. If you are looking to uh, have different MIDI controllers for your DAW or for any hardware or anything, uh, you know, definitely something to look into. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.